Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another video. So I'm gonna take you back to basic today. We're gonna to talk about crosstalk artifact. So take a closer look at these two images right here. One of them has the crosstalk, the other one doesn't. It's not easy to spot if you don't know where to look at. So I'm gonna to try to show you today. Let's go. Thanks for tuning in and it's great to see you all here. Well, I can't physically see you, but the feeling of you being here is very much appreciated. So if you're new here, I'm uh, back again. I'm a Ramurai Ryographer and in my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced Ramurai topics, tutorials, troubleshooting, just like this one. So if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. So back to the video, crosstalk artifact is fundamental. So it's something you need to know from the very beginning when you work with them more. So changes you make like slices and distance factor, those are the things that can affect this crosstalk. So I want to show today how you can minimize or eliminate this crosstalk artifact. And uh, we're going to do a few scans where I'm going to show you. So without further ado, let's go to the scanner. All right, before we go to the scanner, I'm just going to show you where you can read a little bit more about the crosstalk. Visit the site question and answer in MRI. I will leave the link in the description down below. So in here you have the crosstalk. You can read a little bit more for further understanding when it comes to the theory part. There's a nice figure right here and shows the crosstalk effect right there and also some images for comparison. So let's go to the scan now and I will show you the practical part. All right, we are currently at the 1.5 dash though, but it doesn't matter what field strength you're at, crosstalk will occur either way. I'm just gonna do a simple knee imaging here. I'm just uh, gonna localize it right there. I'm gonna open a T2 weighted sagittal and I'm gonna use a sagittal for demonstrate the uh, this crosstalk effect with the T2 weighted, so it will be easier for us to do some measurements and some comparison in the end of this uh, session. So the first thing I'm going to do is just reduce a few slices here so we save a little bit scan time. Reduce the TR. So we are around 1 minute and 51 seconds. And we're going to start with a zero distance factor. and one concatenations. The next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna increase to two concatenations and take a further look at the scan time right now. It doubles. So that means that you are running two acquisitions, right? So since we're on a T2, I'm having a restore pulse on, so I'm just gonna reduce the, the TR to get my time to be approximately the same. And then I'm also gonna have a zero distance factor. And the next test we're going to do now is that we're going to increase this to 10% distance factor and one concatenations. Concatenations. 10% is around with 3 millimeter, this is around 0.3 millimeter distance factor. So that means that what in between those slices you will lose information about 0.3 millimeter, what's in between you lose information. Next one we're gonna do is that we're gonna increase this to 20%. That's approximately 0.6 millimeter. So now we will lose anything in between those slices, 0.6 millimeter. And last thing is 30. That's approximately 0.9 millimeter. So uh, we're gonna scan this one and we're gonna check those images. So this is the final result. The first image you see there is uh, the one with two concatenations and zero distance. The second image is one concatenation with zero distance factor. The third one is one concatenation with 10%. The fourth one concatenation with 20%. And the last one is one concatenations with 30%. So I did the measurements in the fluid right here. So you see the first image there, it's uh, approximately the mean is around uh, 1004. And then you have the crosstalk effect, the second image, because you are imaging with one concatenations and then you also have zero distance factor. 
so we get a signal drop on the fluid right there so the third image right there is 10 percent you can see it's 910 in the mean so it's almost like no crosstalk effect like image one and having 20 increases a little bit and having 30 it increases more so even though we are having a lower TR on the first image compared to the four others you can see the fluid is bright because we don't have any crosstalk effect and we are using a restore pulse so you're gonna ask yourself these questions because I've seen many protocols where people are using 10% and think that it, that's enough but is 10% really enough or should we go for 20 percent or 30 whenever we're not using two concatenations but remember if you increase this your distance factor it also means that you are having a, a larger gap which means you're losing every information in between those slices so uh, it also depends on what you're imaging if you are imaging small structures you should have continuous slices such as image one with two concatenations and zero distance factor but if you're imaging a very large area screening you can have a little bit distance factor because increasing your distance factor will also give you more coverage so this is something to think about i was very surprised that 10 percent it's actually hmm, not enough maybe and whenever you're using three millimeter slight thickness well that's it guys thanks for staying in the end of this video so i hope you find this video informative valuable I do have a question for you before we close up. To avoid or minimize the crosstalk, what are you usually doing? Are you usually increasing the distance factor or uh, concatenations? Or a combination of both of them? Please let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button and hit the subscribe. Hit on the notification bell so you will get a ding ding whenever new stuff from me are coming up. So until next time, stay safe and I catch up with you. Peace out.